Yo, what's going on, guys? And today we are continuing my NBA playoff predictions and previews as the way these works. I break down both teams, the Phoenix Suns and the Los Angeles Clippers in this one. And what we do is we just talk about how both teams can win, give the respect to both teams, and, you know, honestly give them an honest depth talk about how we think each team can win. And then at the end of the video, if you just want to skip to the end, if you're doing this for betting odds or something, go to like the six minute marker, 630 close to the seven minute marker is typically when I give my prediction. And then I have, I tell you why I think this team will win. And then I also say still the other team that I expect to lose could still win it. And cause I, at the end of the day, it's the NBA, any team can win. So let's get right into the video. We're on the way to 20,000 and let's talk about those Phoenix Suns and they're undefeated with Kevin Durant in the lineup. The easy way to say this is a combination of our boys, Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, Chris Paul, DeAndre Aiden, is one could argue a lot more top heavy than the Clippers. I think the one area, I think while the Suns are a lot top heavier, like their their firepower, like their top four guys are better than the, the Clippers four best guys. I think the next 10 guys are way better on the Clippers than they are on the Suns. Not I'm not trying to take anything away, but you know, Torrey Craig, Damian Lee, Landry Shamick, Cameron Payne, Josh kogi has been a dog, Terrence Ross, Terrence Ross and Bismack Biombo and Jock Landell have all been fantastic. Like, I love me some Jacques Landau, all right? But what we do have to admit is that this, this team, if they're going to have to win it, their star players are going to have to continue what they're doing, but they're all playing, you know, like 36 minutes a night, 33, 34 minutes a night. And then you're going to be relying off of 25 minutes a night from Torrey Craig, 20 minutes a night from Damian Lee, 20 from Landry Shamit, 20 from Cameron Payne, probably another 20 from... Josh Kogi throwing another 20, you know, basically with Terrence Ross. And then the rest of the roster is your Devin Booker, Ke Kevin Durant, Chris Paul, DeAndre Aiden, and then also throwing a little Bismack Biombo and Jock Landell in there. I mean, it's not perfect. It's not the worst situation in the world, but this team, they're going to have to be firing on all cylinders, playing really good perimeter defense and forcing this Clippers team to be shooting really bad, bad shots. Again, I think it's possible. I think it's it's something to look out for. And I I really I really think the, the, the Suns have a lot of firepowering. It just comes down to can they hold up defensively and not be depleted because of their lack of depth. I think that's the big thing that's holding them back. And that's going to be the big if for them. And I think it's definitely something that they can get over. I'm not worried about it, but I think when you look at this team is that four guys, Booker and Paul and Aiden are going to have to dominate and hopefully the supporting cast are going to be able to do enough. Now let's switch over to the Clippers where I think the Clippers have the deeper team, but it's the consistency thing. The Phoenix Suns were ranked the seventh best defensive rating and the 15, 14th best offensive rating, ninth best net rating over the season. While the Clippers for the season, 16th offensive rating, 18th offensive rating and 17th net rating. This team, every other night we see a different team, but the fact they have Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, okay, Russell Westbrook. We don't know Paul George's health status fully. Maybe by the time this video comes out, it's been updated, but you know, Ivica Zubats, Marcus Morris, Norm Powell, Eric Gordon, Terrence Mann, all right, Nick Batum, Mason Plumley, Bones Highland. Like, there are players this team. And, you know, break the glass if you need to, Robert Covington. So, for me, this is definitely a team that there is talent on here. And I think people aren't realizing, hey, the Clippers can really just come out here and make some noise. What they'll have to do is play good defense and hit their shots. Because they. this is a team that we've seen – prone to go onto these somewhat cold streaks and they need to be able to not do that all right 
So for me, I think the Los Angeles Clippers, what they need to be doing is hitting their shots. All right. Because for the season, this season, this team is actually like one of the it is an interesting team because we see sometimes this team look great. Other nights, they don't like on the season. They're third in three point percentage. All right. Tenth in makes. But their field goal percentage is 13th. They're 24th in field goal. So they shoot a lot of threes, but they don't shoot a lot of field goal attempts. OK, and they're 18th in points. So it's a very weird mix back. Like they can hit their threes, but they don't need to shoot. They don't shoot enough threes. We need more threes and they're not the best inside scoring team. So it puts you in this weird like what version of the Clippers will we see? We need this three point shooting Clippers team that is going to be able to, you know, I think just help. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you guys think of this and why? Are you guys in the same opinion as me? Or am I just stupid for thinking this? I definitely think it's an interesting situation, to say the least, because really, if the, the Clippers could get caught and just beat the Suns in like four games in a row, like that's the type of firepower they have. But then there's other nights where it looks like they just can't get it going. So for me, I think that just brings up the whole thing like, which Clippers team will we see? And I'm very, very curious to hear your guys' opinions down below in the comment section. If there was anything else you guys would have liked to have heard, let me know. I'm very curious, but that's basically going to be it for me. I think right here, we're going to give the prediction. All right. It's going to be the Phoenix Suns in six games. All right. I think the, the, they're more consistent. I can I know what I'm going to get from them. The one thing keeping the Suns from winning this is health and if their bench completely falls off a cliff. While I think it's very feasible that the Clippers win this in six games or less, I'm putting my money on Kevin Durant, Chris Paul, and the Phoenix Suns just because that firepower is so loaded. Plus, I, I'd rather take DeAndre Aiden over and Bismack Biombo and... and Jock Landell over Zubots and Mason Plumley. No offense to them, they're fantastic players. I just think, you know, the guys I listed are a bit better. So that's the video. Let me hear your thoughts down below if there's anything else you guys would have liked to have heard and if you guys even agree with me. But I am going to go right now. We're on the way to 20,000 subscribers. If you guys want to support the channel, hit that like and subscribe button. But that's basically going to be the video for me today as we milk this to eight minutes because YouTube loves eight minute videos. And when we do these predictions, you guys like them when they're eight minutes. But if you guys made it to the end, thank you. I chose the Suns in six games, but the Clippers easily could just blow them out in four. Like the Clippers are so deep. It's just the consistency. I don't know what I'm gonna get with them. That's what's holding me back. But again, Suns, don't be surprised if the Clippers win.